Um, back here with the update on the um, burnt amp situation. I took it uh, to the to the authorized retailer for the amp, and they told me that basically the input supply burnt out um, between the equalizer to the amp and the settings I had on the amp. I burned out the input processor and they also verified to me that the amp is not one ohm stable power acoustic amps or not they are not one ohm stable with these speakers maybe a cheaper lower uh, RMS wattage situation but as far as kickers CVX's anything I guess I'm assuming in the 1000 RMS range is not compatible at one ohm with power acoustic um, these CVX's they're gone this one is uh, you can hear the sound this one makes and this one this one doesn't even move at all and I took a look at the voice coils through the vent took a look of, through the voice coils through here they're completely destroyed it's it got to the point where there's only three Three rolls of coil left on the on the cone itself. Um, so my CVX 15s are gone. So these $500 subwoofers are gone. Um, I've already put a new set in in the car. I have audio pipe 15s. I threw them in the car. So I'm gonna be bumping those for today. With, with my other power acoustic amp, 5500 watt. And from there, um, I will start the rebuild process of my sound system as far as the bass go. Um, before I do any music playing, I'm going to have to take a look at every possible wire and make sure nothing else got burned between the equalizer to the amplifiers um, it's sad when you put your shit together and shit breaks apart and it's even sadder when a manufacturer doesn't hold up to what they tell you you know I had to go on the website and verify with my eyes again and You know, I'm on the website for Power Acoustic, and basically what it's telling me is at basically it's telling me is that one ohm, I'm guaranteed 3200 RMS. At two ohms, I'm guaranteed 2500 RMS, and at four ohm, I'm guaranteed 1700 RMS. And I went by these settings for the BMF, which is this amp. And unfortunately, it does not support my kickers. And, you know, that's, that's fucked up. But that's just something I got to deal with. But this is the last update I'm going to do of this amplifier uh, situation right here. Um... My two subwoofers are destroyed, so you will no longer see these CVXs in my videos. They're going straight to the trash. Um, they don't offer recon kits for these. They don't offer rebuild or any type of uh, restructuring of these. You know, these are heavy duty. I'm not knocking off kickers, but this is not a subwoofer issue. Basically, 
my aunt fried and it cooked my subwoofers in the process. And I'm not upset or nothing. You know, it's just, like I said, this is all materialistic things. Um, they serve their purpose. You know, and they had good music in them. And they serve their purpose. And, you know, time time for me to upgrade. Um, it won't happen tomorrow or next week. But over a certain period of time, um, you will see new videos and uh, updates from the MC. But for now, it's, it's not really anything I can do. Except for understand, you know, this, this shit happens. And, you know, I just deal with it. And that's the best thing I can do, you know, accept the fact, deal with it, you know, carry on with my next projects. Um, but it's it's just a, you know, fucked up situation to be in. But like I said, my car didn't get, get burned down, just smoke coming out of my subwoofer box and uh, amplifier catching on, catching on fire, or whatever you want to call it, burning out, short circuited. Whatever you want to call it, those those just two of the things that happened, and you know, I'm glad my car didn't catch on fire. I didn't get any electrical wire damaging to the to the car system itself, you know. And uh, like I said before, I start playing any music, I'm gonna have to go in there, deal with all the wiring issues and all that such and such. Check every last bit of wiring, and make sure everything is you know still clean connection, clean cut. There's no burns, no 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 damage, things like that. So that's the route I'm taking right now. Um, like I said, I already have another set of 15s in my car um, that I will be using for now. But before I start playing any music, I'm gonna have to go over a couple of things in the car and see what's what's left and what's right, and what's up and what's down. But that's just an update on the amp situation. I lost my subwoofers in the process. Um, this one is completely dead. And this one's is fucked up also. So that's that's what it is. And that's the quick update.